right coming to the last model in specialized uh, uh, process models is AOSD which is stands for aspect oriented software development aspect oriented software development it is it is shortcut aspect is nothing but specific aspect to a particular thing particular way it is going to be oriented with respect to like object oriented object means what for that particular object this is the orientation for example if you want to create an object uh, for a classroom you are creating a class object if you are creating an object for a student class you are creating a student class object yes right in the same fashion aspect oriented means it deals with a specific specific to related to that a software development is came into picture in shortcut is called as aosd so aosd defines aspects defines aspects means like it deals with the specific that express customer concerns customer concerns is nothing but customer requirements that cut across multiple systems how it will be cut the uh, concerns means concerns is nothing but requirements so what aosd will be do is it express the customer concerns and also it will be cut it will be cut the cross it cut cross multiple system as functions features and information this is are going to be referred as cross cutting concerns simply we can call cross cutting concern means a requirement is dividing is dividing means cutting into functions separately features separately information separately all three this of cutting the concerns cutting the customer concerns is called as cross cutting concern cross cutting cross cutting means optimizing giving in a right way giving a more benefit is called as cross cutting concerns so aspectual requirements define those cross cutting concerns that have impact across the software architectures so this cross cutting concerns will be more impact on the across the software architecture because you are separating the functions separating the features separating the information such a way that it has to give more inputs more inputs and it will be impact on the software architecture because software architecture deals with the components if you are separating all as a this because when you combine all the concerns only it will be develop a component so it will be impacts on the software architecture and also if you go in detail of this aosd aosd normally referred to as aop which is stands for aspect oriented programming aspect oriented programming in the sense we have a separate programming it's not a like programming language aop in the sense it deals with like xml form of the programming it is also be called as aoce because it deals with accept oriented component engineering again they will be refined in 2002 by grew in 2002 proposed for this aosd as aoc aspect oriented not software development as a component engineering so it is a relatively new software engineering paradigm paradigm is nothing but model a model is called as paradigm paradigm means a process model like we have a paradigm waterfall paradigm incremental paradigm spiral paradigm prototyping paradigm concrete paradigm paradigm means a process model or simply model that provides a process and methodological approach for what purpose for defining specifying designing construction now what are the phases of normal waterfall communication modeling construction deployment testing these are the five different phases or activities we we are calling in the same fashion we are saying this aoc aspect oriented component engineering we are calling as is a one type of software engineering paradigm paradigm is model now it consisting of an approach means an activities what are the activities first activities defining second one specifying third one designing fourth one constructing so there we call as activities here we are calling as aspects that's all that is the one major difference over there so mechanisms behind subroutines and inheritance for localizing the expression of a cross cutting concern mechanism behind uh, subroutines in the sense as i said you we are cross cutting the customer concerns as a functions features information because of each one considered as a subroutine what is a subroutine a sub function is called as subroutine and inheriting what is it called as inheritance the definition for inheritance is acquiring the properties of a child from its parent means your son you are a uh, daughter of your parents 
so parent is a root here the child's or yourself so it is called as inheriting acquiring the properties you look like as your father you like look like as your mother means you are acquiring the properties of your mother to comes into daughter or as a son or you are acquiring the properties of your father and what are the properties of your father the same properties are applicable for your you as a son or a daughter so inheriting means acquiring the properties of child from a parent right for localizing the expression of a cross cutting concept so that is a simple uh, way how we can represent expert oriented sorted model is it deals with expressing customer concerns that cross cut the functions features and information all the concerns will be cut like this and simply it is referred as cross cutting concerns and aosd also called as aop which is stands for expert oriented programming also called as aoc expert oriented component engineering which consisting look like as a software engineering paradigm consisting of the aspects like defining specifying designing and construction and simply it will be uh, mechanisms it will follow like the subroutines as well as the inheritance so that's about the aoad and there are all the three types of uh, specialized process models whatever we have just now discussed right so one is component based second one is formal method model and third one expert oriented software model right